hi everyone welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my recipe on how i love making my ukwa i love to make it with yam and that recipe is what i'm going to be sharing with you guys today so i have ukwa which is known as breadfruit and this is dried ukwa so i had to soak it overnight in case you have the fresh one you can just use it and i also have chopped yam as well and then some dry fish some periwinkle as well for this recipe you need this periwinkle but in case you don't have it around you that's fine i also have onion and i'm going to be using half of this crayfish as well some red oil potash as well this potash is going to help soften the um, ukwa it's going to help fasten the cooking process so just need this little amount then some salt as well and seasoning cubes Then for my pepper, I have fresh pepper and dried pepper. And for this dry pepper, I combined two different types of pepper. I have the black pepper and the red pepper mixed together. Then I also have pumpkin leaf. And this amount is enough for this recipe. So firstly, I'm going to be putting the ukwa into the pot and then add enough water and then aside, I'm going to add in water to the potash, then give it a stir and add it to the pot and then cover this and allow this to cook. In case you want to add water, maybe the water goes down and you want to add, it's preferably you use warm water if you have a pressure cooker a pressure pot rather you can as well use it it's going to fasten the process but for mine i cooked this for one hour 30 minutes and at this point it's ready so i'm going to add my yam to this So after that, I'm just going to cover this pot and allow the yam to get soft and it took me 5 minutes basically. So once that is ready, I just added in the dry fish and then gave it a stir, just trying to check the water though and then cover the pot and allow it to cook. So moving over to the onion just chopping my onion then i'm going to set that aside and then over to the fresh pepper i'm just chopping it as well and then i'm going to set that as um, aside and then over to the pumpkin leaf chopping that as well so after that, I'm going back to the pot. I'm just going to check on the the pot, everything and eat the fish. And at this point, it's ready. So I just checked the water. I needed to add a little more water. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm just adding in some warm water and then the, the red oil. So after that, I'm just um, putting in the chopped onion, just give it a stir 
and then the seasoning cubes goes in the salt goes in as well the fresh and dry pepper goes in and then the crayfish goes in as well basically everything goes in at this point so after that I'm just gonna give this one more stir and then we'll cover this and allow it for three minutes so after that just come back and then add in the periwinkle and then give this a stir So after that I'm gonna cover this and just for two minutes so after two minutes I'll come back and add in the pumpkin leaf and then give it a stir once you have done giving it a stir it's time to bring it down so in case you've watched this video and you like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then in case you've not subscribed please do well to subscribe and click the notification bell so you could get notified whenever I post a new video and as well I would love to see your comments so guys see you in my next video bye